I genuinely hope it doesn't take you as long as it did me. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. But, you know, however long it takes, it takes, you know. But... Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. I'm very bad at plot. <laughs> Always had been. And so, when I figured out this, that the mistake I've been making, you know, I was like, okay, I need to remember this. This is why I have, you know, what we call tools of the trade. Uh, things that help you maintain your sanity and a semblance of a, of, of a writing process. And it is, you know, the, this false belief that it takes one idea to write a book. I would, I would constantly repeat this mistake over and over and over and over again. Morning, Zinganya here. In the fog of my ADHD brain, I completely forgot to make an introduction. So hi, my name is Zanya. I'm a writer, lover of history and all stories and everything in between. It's the reason I make so many cuts. Because I make a sentence, and then I stop to think about it. And then I get lost in thought in the stratosphere of this universe. And then I remember, oh, there's, there's a point I was trying to make in the middle of this. Welcome to my channel and this chaos-induced video. It's about writing lessons, meaning random trinkets I collected along the way. I hope you gain something from it, and I hope you can still enjoy it. Back to the video. I've been a part of writing and the community and YouTube and Rhymo and everything in between since, uh, you know, I think 2012. And, you know, I finally decided it's time I add something to it. To stop being a passive observer in all of this and say, you know, these are my two cents and you know what, let's give it a go, let's give it a try. And Becca C. Smith inspired me today, uh, even though I've been following her NK for many, many years and I hope this message finds you and you may find also some inspiration in it, whether it's for writing or creating videos or any other type of content. Ideas will come naturally, on accident, spontaneously. And, you know, have a tiny notebook for story ideas. Uh, what do we call it? Story bunnies. Just record them. Write them down. Or use your phone. Write a little note. Keep it there and forget about it. And after some time, after you've collected enough ideas, you're gonna be like, you know, let me check everything I've written. Have I enough material that I can construct a book concept for myself? And that should be enough as a starting point. And in the process, you may change it all uh, and alter. If you're anything like me, maybe you exist somewhere in between plotter and answer. You know, I like plotting things to a certain degree, but I need to le leave enough free space for me to discover and be excited about the prospect of writing itself. Because I've tried both individually. I've had nano projects where I just pantsed it out, discovery wrote everything. It was a mess. It was exciting. It's an interesting experience. I invite you to try it out if you need to. But it didn't work because I didn't have enough to push me through a whole month in that rhino. And on the flip side, I tried plotting. I really did. I 
exploded a lot of things. I will start to write. I think you should try not to judge yourself too harshly because I wanted, logically, in my mind, I wanted to be a plotter. I really did. You know, I just wanted to be the person that outlines everything and then just starts writing. I wanted to be that person. I am not that person. I'm somewhere in between. I need discovery and excitement to enjoy the process. To me, the process of, of the actual thing you're doing is far more important than the final result and the success of it. Because if I don't enjoy it, I won't do it in the end. That's when it becomes boring and uninteresting. And that's when we, at least I, that's when I give up. I'm not feeling that well. To write, I am not happy. So for me, on one side, it is an, a creative expression, but the other side, it's, it's like like people that work out. They just need it, you know. They, they just got used to it so much that if they stop today, they, they'd go insane. I think writing is that for me. It's creative. It's necessary. <laughs> And it's something, you know, I want to succeed at, eventually. But I do it because I enjoy the process today. As long as you enjoy it, I think you'll eventually get to it. How do I end this? I do not know. How do we write? We don't know. What do we want to write? How do we do that? We don't know. <laughs> That's the summary of this video.